to Kitsilano now. I hope I'm pronouncing that properly. Oh, this is a lovely little harbour here, isn't it? Kitsilano. Uh, there, there's two lovely pretty boats there, look. One there is called Molly Sparks from Kiever. I don't know what the other one is. This is called Legenda. Legenda. Wow. I mean... Look, can, can, the stillness just here, beside the city, is amazing, right? Um, look at that now. Look at the city here, and the mountains in the background, and it's a lovely day today with some clouds, look. Some of them are just sitting on top of the mountains, it's just fantastic, fantastic. And there's a lovely boat there called the Ella Mackenzie, look. It's not a lovely name for a, for a boat. It's called uh, the Good Ship Sylvester. Right, I've got to take this jumper off because it's starting to heat up now. Look at this sailing ship here, North Star of Herschel Island. Wow. Isn't that fantastic? Look. Get a picture of that, my friends. So, it's seen here, this beautiful sailing ship was built in 1935 in San Francisco. Um, and she, she has been used, she was like beached in 1961 and then she was purchased again and um, she, she subsequently, until she was used for scientific investigations in the Arctic Ocean. Beautiful. Hi. So this boat here was um this was a tugboat it's saying on the information sign here. Um and it's saying Ella McKenzie is the last um wooden built tug um at, built at the Dollarton shipyard, whatever that means. Look at little dog here, isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, so uh, a Glen, it was, it's called a Glen class tug. Hello, hello, come here, say hello, want to say hello. Uh, what's your name? What's your name? Oh, you're a lovely little fella. You're a lovely little fella. Yeah, you're a lovely little fella. Okay, bye. Yeah, she worked as a harbour tug and dredge tender along the British Columbia coast and in Vancouver until 1971. Uh, Ella McKenzie was later converted to pleasure use and had a complete refit in 2006, including all new timbers and woodwork. It's a, it's a lovely, you know like, um, do you don't know the way you look at uh, vintage cars or vintage design? I, I love in particular the, 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 the um, 
the, the designs of buildings or interiors of cafes and stuff from the 50s. You know, you ever got, like, you know, lovely, they have lovely coves and stuff on them. Well, the boats, some of these boats here have something similar, if you know what I mean. They're just a, a unique design and they're beautiful. And uh, I'm just looking up the North Star there and the sun is obviously shining on the water and there's a ripple effect, you know, like on the back of the North Star. It looks cool. Look, do you see it just there? Well, you can see it on, on the GoPro. But it's brilliant. Wow. God, she's a beautiful boat. Thank you. Yeah. Would you sail far in it now, would you? Yeah, you can do cross oceans. On this boat? Yeah, offshore. Wow. Yeah, it's a spend its life in the South Pacific. Okay. Yeah, Hawaii and South Pacific Islands, Tahiti. Yeah. And do you take it out, out much yourself? Do you go yeah. out all the time? Yeah, yeah. Re-racing it and uh, go away for the summers. Wow, she's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. It's like, uh, just looking at the design, they're like, um, <coughs> the boats here, like, there's, there's, there's a lovely, unique um, design to them, isn't there? Like, you know what I mean? That you won't, won't get in the modern boats. Definitely. You know, it's just, it's just like, I've got to, I, I, I envy you, yeah. I have to say now. Yeah. Um, it's very special. Yeah. Historically, it's quite significant. It was designed by a 19 year old in 1957. A 19 year old? Uh, yeah, Olin Stevens. It's a Sparkman and Stevens, which is a famous East Coast boat designer. Okay. And when he was 19, he designed three boats. Okay. And uh, this was one of them. Okay. And he was the kid, new kid on the block. 19, and when he designed... started winning all the races. Wow. Yeah. 19, well, it's, it's, it's some incredible people, isn't it? So there was a, there's a conversation for you with that man who owns that boat. Um, fantastic, fantastic. So this is uh, Kitsilano Breach, Beach, if I am pronouncing it properly. Look at this for relaxation, my friends. Fabulous. Look at the dogs. I'm mad at the dogs over here. Hello. How are you? What's your name? What's your name? Cool. Ah, uh, look at the little dog here swimming. Look. Wow. Yeah, lemmy. Yeah, she looks a little lemmy. Good job, Hello. buddy. That's not a dog. That's an otter. <laughs> what? That's an otter. <laughs> yeah. Super cool. Yeah, he's gorgeous. Oh, that's just so cool. Look at these dogs, look. Wow. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello, you're all wet. <laughs> Hello. As you can see, they're mad into the dogs here. Like my brother now would love this because he's got, uh, at the minute he's got three dogs. He did have five of them. And he just love it here. Hello. This is fantastic. Day five in Vancouver. You don't think it's going to get better, but it gets better every single day. Um, I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again. Fabulous, fabulous place. Fabulous place. Look at all the dollars. It's having a great time. Perfect. 
Oh my god, it's just, it's, it's dog heaven here, dog heaven. If you're into dogs, this is fantastic. How do you treat our animals here? It's fantastic, fantastic. Hello. Well, English Bay is lovely, um, and all the other little beaches along that part. But um, this is my favourite area, probably because it's quieter, and um, it's, it's a dog heaven beach. A dog heaven beach. It's fantastic to see. Fantastic. Plenty of um, sports activity going on here in Kitsilano. Um, here's guys playing um, basketball, is it? And there's a lot of beach volleyball going on out here. And I have to say, I have to see some very, very sexy voluptuous women here oh yes indeed very curvaceous that's the word to use but anyway um, or maybe that's that was now now and the feminists uh, heard me saying that they, they call me um, what's the word what did he say um, I used to drive on a brand new highway can't think what to say I had it there a second ago in my head. I must have gotten Alzheimer's or something. I don't know. Um, male chauvinist. Male chauvinist thing to say. Super cool. Super, super cool. That looks like a great, great game, I have to say. Beach volleyball. Gorgeous tree. Look at the, look at the, the houses over here. These are all. They look like they're. Some some of them seem to be wooden, but they're lovely. Look. Now I'd say. I'd say this has definitely has to be a middle class area of um, in Vancouver. Um. Yeah, all the individual houses. But this is, this is even a lovely park here. Look. It's just so relaxing. I have to say, so relaxing. Yeah, them people over there are having a barbecue. Look at the, the eco bikes, or electric bikes, you want to call them. They're just, they're, they're really in the 21st century, if you know what I mean. It's just down that little road there, right, there's houses, and then you see the big apartment complex, or so the modern Vancouver, you want to call it, in the distance there. Look at the two trees, people on bicycles, look. A girl under the, under the tree. Now, just that image has everything of Vancouver there, everything of it. Now, there's a beautiful Vancouver woman sitting under the shade of a tree in solitude there, reading a book. Now, we're talking about self-help and meditation and stuff, you don't need it. Come out and, and do what that woman is doing there. Sit under the tree by yourself in the shade of the shade of the tree in the sunshine in the park, reading a book. What more could you ask for? Fantastic. These two people have the right idea, sitting on deck chairs on the beach, chilling.
Fantastic beach, fantastic. They think of everything here, even for if you uh, have a disability and say you're incapacitated <coughs> and you're on a wheelchair or something and you, and, and you can't push, push the wheelchair onto the sand. Look at this. You see, look. Now, it's not a brilliant, brilliant idea, you know what I mean? Like, as I say, they, 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 they think and have thought of everything, everything to, for people. Look, so you can come all the way down here, get out of your wheelchair or your mobile um, scooter and sit down the logs and enjoy the beach, uh, just like everyone else. That, I think that's fantastic, you know what you think? Look at the trees. Now I love that, they, they, they say Vancouver's parks, beaches and facilities are smoke free. Now I'm, that this, this is my kind of place my friends, my kind of place. I can't stand smoke in my face, even though my mum and dad smoked. Um, I've got, there's ten in my family right, five boys and five girls right. I said my mum and dad were busy <laughs> and um, none of the five lads ever ever smoked. I think three of the girls did and there's one of them still smoking and she'll never get them up. Um, so yeah so I love the idea that she can go in the parks here and although in the city as I told you it's just you can just smell the hash everywhere. Maybe I'm wrong but see this public pool they have here. Again I'm just looking down here now and there's disabled spaces here so maybe you can you know not saying push someone in but on a wheelchair and they can go in and swim even in the pool there um, look at that look, look at that background look at it, the mountainous backgrounds fabulous 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 all the way see this here someone has wrote nobody can love you like you and um, that is so true, so so true. Um, the older you get, and the more disappointments that you know. If you don't, you have to train yourself to to, to love yourself. If you know what I mean. But um, uh, it's it, it's true though, because how can you get someone else? How, how can you ask someone else to love you? You know what I mean? Oh, it's a fantastic feeling to. Uh, To, um, to be in love but uh, it's a shit feeling when the whole thing breaks down and that's why I'm not going out looking for anyone at the minute because I had my fair share of it and um, it's not pleasant to have your heart broken my friends not pleasant at all um, yeah so I'm going down here now see that there now it's, a, it's saying King Kabuta, it's a track machine obviously. Um, I think Kabuta is Japanese, not too sure about that, but anyway, I, 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 I'd love a go on one of them. Now I, I did, I, I told him I heard out at Mini Digger one time, sure I was in heaven, digging it around with it. And it's a, the very same thing, like, it's, it's as simple. Do you reckon that driving these bigger ones is, is even easier than driving the small three ton ones that, you, that people hire out if you're, do, if you're doing work in your, at home in your garden or something? But um, yeah, I'd love a go. I'd love a go on one of these. Fair play, to her. She's got great balance.
Um, here's a Mercedes, I reckon it's it's from the 70s, look. Isn't it cool? The old design, Brit beautiful British Columbia is on there. And here's one of the modern Fiat 500s or something like that. Um, they are very, very popular in Ireland, those cars. Wow, look at that for a house. Look at that. Yeah, this is definitely a posh area here, my friends. No, there's no minimum wage person from Vancouver living out here. Not a chance. Yeah, this is the, the rich person's paradise, my friends. Out here. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that big wooden house over there, fantastic. Fantastic. Like, and that, and you know something, a lot of them out here have, have actually lovely character to them, I have to say that. Um, look at this one here. Is that a house? It is a house, yeah. That's a modern, any, a modern uh, building there for sure. Yep. So, there must be uh, a local elections here in Vancouver because when I was over in North Vancouver, I could see um, all these electioneering posters uh, on my way up to Grouse Mountain. So, this woman here is Colleen Hardwick for mayor. I don't know, I don't know if she's a mayor or she's, she's um, trying to become the next mayor. Look at that house there and see the kind of shingles on the roof. They're amazing the way it's done. Look at that one over there, wow, look at that. Oh my god. That there, that there is huge. Definitely, you know, probably cost a couple of million. Look at this one, look at that. For a house, if it is a house. I don't know if that's an individual, uh, somebody's individual home, or if it's a, looks like it though. That's what I'm saying, you're probably talking a million or something or more, maybe a couple of million for them. It's huge. So they're bringing to the yoga here. Kitsilana Outdoor Yoga with Ivana Kiernan. Uh, what's to say here? Tatlow Park at Point Grey Road. Wednesday the August the 17th, September the 7th. 7.30am to 8.30am. So there you go. Wheeling to have been fit over here, so if you're a couch potato, don't come to Vancouver. Because um, it's all geared for, well you can if you want, and just vegetate. But um, get out and walk my friends, and cycle, and do things. Gorgeous dogs there. Hi. I just see a, a rock here, and there's a lovely writing here to do with uh, Vancouver in the Rain by uh, Regan. D and Andrade, December 1999. So I'll just read this, I think it's cool, look. If Vancouver is famous for its rain. It can rain here for weeks on end, but it does not usually bother me. However, several years ago, I found myself coming close to being thoroughly disgusted with the rain. I walked home from work one evening in the pouring rain, mumbling under my breath the whole way that this weather was only suited to ducks. The building I lived in was large and square, 
and it surrounded a brick courtyard. I came around the corner into the courtyard and there, to my amazement, was a beautiful Peking duck in a huge puddle in the middle of the courtyard, quacking and splashing with obvious delight. I had to smile, glad that such joy could be found in the grey wetness of such a day. I have often thought that we do not have nearly enough words for rain, especially as this was once a rainforest. There is booming rain, whispery rain, rain that lulls you to sleep and rain on the leaves which sings you awake. There is soft rain, hard rain, sideways rain, rain that makes you instantly wet and rain that leaves soft kisses on your cheek like the wings of a butterfly. Rain brings us all the shades of grey but also brings us the wonderful greenery that surrounds us and blesses us. Now isn't that beautifully articulated isn't it? And um, you know something Ireland is like we have a lot of rain so so we'd be used to the rain if we're li living over here too and uh, we wouldn't have the greenery that we have in Ireland only for the rain so, but that is beautifully written I have to say right found the toilet uh, and I'm going to get some water here now as well I totally walk this travel um, this t tra tourist travel business <laughs> Um, right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do now. I'm going to end this video off um, Granville Island and Kitsilano, right? Very, very impressed. Very impressed. Fantastic. Fantastic, right? So, stay tuned for my next video from Vancouver. Um, I think tomorrow is it today, sir. So tomorrow is going to, be, going to be my last full day in Vancouver, unfortunately, right? So stay tuned for that one and stay to the end and I'll put up some pictures on, on this video and I'll do the same in all the previous videos, right? So thanks for watching, keep safe and I'll see you all in the next one. Okay, take care, bye.